The burgeoning midway adventure motorcycle scene gained a couple of strong contenders for the bike of choice in the last 12 months. One is a new machine that uses a cross-plane parallel twin cylinder engine, has rally raid styling and a minimalist feel that suits the Dakar aesthetic. The other is an updated version of one of the maker's most iconic bikes. It uses a trick three-cylinder T-plane engine, has every gadget under the sun fitted to it and is styled like a droid out of the Star Wars films. The two bikes we're talking about are of course the Tiger 900 Rally Pro from Triumph and the Tenere 700 from Yamaha. Looking at the spec sheet for these two machines could lead you to think that they couldn't be more mismatched for a head-to-head, -head, but they are two midweight adventure machines that just go about things slightly differently. First let's look at the costs involved in buying each of them. With the Tenere starting at £9,145, it looks as though the Yamaha has the Triumph Rally Pro beat with its £13,100 starting price. There are a few bits to add to the Tenere though, to make it like for like, such as fog lights, engine bars and heated grips. But even with those accessories bringing the price up to £10,000 for the Yamaha, it's still over £3,000 less than the Hinkley built machine. Price is just one part of the puzzle though, as the Triumph is a fully loaded motorcycle from the start. There is a base spec 900 Tiger that starts at 9,500, although that machine doesn't come with the same level of adventure riding equipment as the Rally Pro does, and is so much more touring and commuting oriented. As I just mentioned, equipment-wise, the Triumph is a much more fully equipped machine, featuring a full IMU controlling the ABS and traction control functions. Riding modes are also included, which cover rain, road, sport, off-road, off-road, pro and rider, which is a user-configurable mode. It also features the biggest screen this side of an IMAX cinema. It has Bluetooth connectivity and the Adventure Riders lifeline in the form of the what 3 words software built into the system. The Tiger 900 Rally Pro is also fitted with Showa long travel suspension, Brembo Stylema calipers and comes with heated grips as standard. The Tenere 700 on the other hand is almost completely devoid of electronic systems aside from the two channel ABS. It does though have top spec hardware fitted in the form of KYB 43mm forks, a sax rear shock and Brembo calipers up front. If anything, the difference in the hardware and equipment is pointing to the single-mindedness of the Tenere. The lack of systems and interference highlight the machine as a full-on desert touring motorcycle, where such electronics could be more of a hindrance than a help. The Tiger 900 Rally Pro though has one boot in the mud and the other planted firmly on the tarmac. If it's out and out off-road performance you're after, the Yamaha wins it. But if your commute takes you down the A14 to work and not through the Arabian desert, you might want to consider the Triumph. Both bikes fall nicely into the midweight category, although the Tenere just beats the Tiger on that front with 205 kilograms playing the Triumph's 220. For those of us shorter than the average adventure rider, it's worth considering the two machines' seat heights, with the Tiger being adjustable from 810 to 830 millimeters and the Tenere coming in at a towering 875 millimeters. The Yamaha though can be ordered with a lower seat and linkages which brings the seat height down to 840mm, although that will add a couple of hundred quid to the cost of the machine. Another important factor to consider with any adventure bike is its ability to actually go on an adventure. With that in mind, let's look at the fuel capacity and equipment of each of these motorcycles to see what they were like if you were to kit them out for a trans-European trek. With a 16 litre fuel tank, the Yamaha should have around 175 to 190 miles of usable range before it needs filling up. My inbuilt danger gauge would have me looking for a fuel stop after about 160 miles though. The Triumph has a larger 20 litre fuel tank Though the three cylinder layout is notoriously thirsty. On the launch for the Tiger 900, I was averaging around about 50 miles per gallon, which included road and off road riding. That gives us a slightly more healthy 230 miles usable tank range, although I would be looking at fuel from around 200 miles. With regards to equipment, the Tiger Rally Pro can be spec to include hard panniers, a 40 litre roll bag, fork protectors, dual radiator guards, and fuel protection bars. 
It's all part of what Triumph called the Expedition Kit, and while no RRP has been confirmed for that yet, the same parts on the old Tiger 800 XCA would have cost you about 1300 quid. So we can assume that would at least be the starting price for them here. If you wanted to deck out your Tenere in the same continent crossing kit, the total cost would be £1,200 or there or thereabouts. Off-road it's clear that both motorcycles are formidable machines and not in terms of how hard they are to ride but in terms of the type of terrain that they can cover. As we mentioned earlier, the Tenere is more of a full-on off-roader while the Triumph is a more complete all-rounder given its touring and commuting capabilities alongside its off-road prowess. If your commute involves more than just a green lane, you might want to opt for the Triumph. But if you're looking for a second bike to go alongside your current road machine that you commute and tour on and you want to use that for more than just a little bit of off-road work, you might want to consider a test ride on the Tenere. So there you have it, that's our verdict. But what bikes would you like us to compare? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see what we can do.